daily mass readings and reflection. September 14, 2023. Solemnity of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross. First reading is taken from the book of Numbers chapter 21, verses 4 to 9. With their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses, Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert, where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole. And if any who have been bitten look at it, they will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole, and whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. Responsorial Psalm Do not forget the works of the Lord. Second reading is taken from the book of Philippians chapter 2, verses 6 to 11. Brothers and sisters, Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, he humbled himself becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. A reading from our Holy Gospel according to St. John chapter 3, verses 13 to 17. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Reflection from our Holy Gospel So must the Son of Man be lifted up. Jesus converses with Nicodemus, a leader of the Jews, about things that are above, like the necessity of being born from above which we refer to as baptism. Jesus knows what he is talking about, because he comes from above. The lifting up of Jesus, like that of the serpent in the desert during the time of Moses, refers to his crucifixion. He will be nailed to the cross and hoisted to death. Jesus is willing to suffer that fate so that all who believe in him will have eternal life. The Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross should make us appreciate also our own sacrifices and crosses and make them meaningful. We cannot gain God's favor unless we are willing to undergo the same passion. 
death, and resurrection, which is our own lifting up to God.